Afternoon, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to our session today. Let's talk about, obviously, we're talking about mobile gaming here today. We know we're the session right after lunch, so you should be energized, you should be ready. Blood sugar's up, let's, so let's get it going. I'm Berkeley Eganis, the Chief Marketing and Growth Officer here at Excel, and I'm thrilled to share the stage here with Josephine. Hello, everybody. Welcome to JDC Day 2. I am Josephine Friday, and I'm the Sales Director at Exola US team. Welcome. So let's dive right in. We hear constantly from the developer community in the mobile game space, there's two big challenges that you're always facing. The one, first one, pretty obvious, right? User acquisition, the expensive. How do I get more players into the game? How do I get more signups, downloads from Google or Apple? But the other one that's kind of interesting and a bigger topic of conversation, literally by definition, is incrementality. What does that mean? That means to take your dolphin players, as we'd like to call them, and turn them into whales. How do you incentivize them to spend more with your game, increase their play time, and obviously add more profits into your business? So that's what we would like to talk about here today is how do we keep that business going? How do you keep your players engaged? You might have a player that downloaded it but never played. You might have a player who came in, played for two weeks, and bailed, and he hasn't been back. And how do you get him back in and make that retargeting effort? How do you make that conversion? How do you get them to spend more money with your game? So we talk about market challenges, there's been a bunch. This market is probably the fastest moving in gaming. You wake up in the morning, you read something online, you read it on LinkedIn, Twitter, um, blogs, and it's, everything's constantly changing. So how are we gonna do that? What does that look like for you guys? So what we're predicting here is over a 6% increase in 2024 in mobile games across the ecosystem. Obviously, effective monetization, that's your goal. How do you figure out how to effectively efficiently monetize your game with your players. And we obviously face challenges with um, IDFA, ATT coming into it, and the, how are you gonna increase those number of paying users, meaning quantity, quantity, the number of players that you're gonna have coming into your game. And then, you know, we've all heard about it. It just happened, DMA went into effect on the 6th of March here, and third-party marketplaces. What does that look like? What's your goal is to keep more of the revenue, drive more profits for your game, and accelerate your business. So one of the things we look at is simple, simple strategy. Let's like basically get down to it. We want to help your players play on the handset, but where are they gonna pay? Online. So let's see how that's gonna be possible. So Josephine, you guys and your team have had a lot of great success launching web shops. Why don't you tell us about a few? Sure. So we just watched the video so you know what a web shop looks like and what a user or player purchase flow looks like. Let's look at some numbers. So first of all, you see NetEast, Warner Brother, Tap in the forefront, Crafton, you know, Turning Point, you know, um, Play Studios, all the partner from you know, all over the world. So, Basically, this is one of the most innovative you know, um, solution product you know, from Exola. Since 2022 until today, we have built 200 and over 210 live web shops for mobile games, mobile game developers, mobile game publishers. And I personally feel so grateful for the trust and also the willingness from the you know, mobile publishers, the willing to try this new initiative. Just like Berkeley said, you know, we, we play a download game, we play the game on the cell phone all the time. But right now, you pay, you play in the game, you pay online. And also today, I'm so thrilled to announce that Axola launched the instant web shop. So what does the instant web shop mean? So developers often ask, ask me, hey, I have a team running the game. 
and I have a store, you know, but I don't have additional folks, you know, working on, you know, building on this web store. I don't have an engineer. I don't have this and that. We heard all those feedback challenges in the past two years. So instant web shop, what does it mean? So for example, you have a live game, you know, on your mobile app store. So once you have this link, game link, download link ready, go to the Excel as a publisher account, put the link over there. So just in under one minute, we synchronize all your SKUs and all your design in the web shop. Under 20 minutes, your first web shop, you know, is live. And then you just need a domain for the web shop and go launch. That's easy. And yesterday I built three, by the way. <laughs> It's, yeah, I'm not well you know, engineer. I'm not a data, I'm just a business dev, but this is one of the most successful initiative and the solutions. If I can do it, I believe everybody here can do it and start selling. Yeah, and also, also Live Ops Web Shop 2.0, because we've been doing this you know, with our partners around the world for two years. You know, we have a lot of great the best practice in what is working, what is not working, how to drive revenue, how to engage with the play, you know, players to play more and are well in, still enjoy your content. So we add all those features, you know, to our web shop, you know. Once you log in your, you know, dashboard account, you will see all the features ready to integrate it. Let's look at the instant web shop. So this is a live web shop our team built. You can put all the you know, virtual items, your bundles, and then with your user ID to log in, and you can put a discount and the promotion code. You know, once you purchase on the web, and user or players can use all those items purchased right in, in their mobile games. And also, last thing, you don't need to worry about the payment because Exola, we have over 700 you know, payment methods around the world in 200 you know, regions. So we already you know, make the last step easy. Don't worry about the purchase. Just make the content great today. Cool. So jumping in, let's talk about how to get people to come to your web shop. We've shown you a couple of great examples and how simple it is with our new web shop 2.0 and the instant web shop being available. But what are some of the best practices from a marketing perspective and your marketing teams as well? It's like you're incentivizing people to get there. You want them to be there, make purchases. So how do you do that? What does that look like? So one of the best things to do is do exclusive offers. When we say that, exclusive offers online. Don't do the same offer that you do in the app in, in the, on the handset, do a unique offer that comes into it. Encourage those first time purchases to make it happen. Somebody who downloaded and never played. Somebody who played but hasn't been there in six weeks. And then look at that with those valuable time limited, limited quantity. Let's call it what it is. Create FOMO. Create a reason to come do it. Do a limited quantity, do a thousand units, 10,000 units, depending on your player following and what's going on and what lear lessons you've learned from your users as you go into it. One of our favorite words, we all like to talk about loyalty. Loyalty and rewards. So drive engagement with daily rewards, daily incentives for people to come do it. Based on their user, um, user behavior, they get rewarded or leveled up for something else. And they increase that LTV with those loyalty programs for the whales. That's what you wanna do. You wanna create a VIP experience for them, provide something unique of value so that they're in the game and then they're playing with their buddies if it's a community-based game. And it's like, where'd you get that? Well, I got it on the web shop. Or you hear from and you're sitting you know, in the kids are sitting in the classroom and they look over somebody's shoulder, where'd you get that? I didn't have that opportunity. And they're like, well, I got that on the web shop. And then personalization to that point is craft those per personalized offers based on their user behavior online that you see. Incentivize them, send them an email, send them, you know, hey, Josephine, we got this offer. We noticed you bought this one last time. Here's the purple version of the gym. Or here, you, wanted, you got 100 last time, we got a new bonus pack. And actually for the same price, you'll get 150. So why don't you jump in? And it's very personalized based on that experience and create those secret opportunities. It's really a direct one-to-one -one relationship that you can create with your players and particularly your whales. And the biggest thing, user flow. Simplify, it's an improved user experience with our customized uh, pay station integration. It's built, designed around your game. It's not one of those you buy a t-shirt or buy tennis shoes or bag or some backpack online. I'm sure we've all bought something like that this year at some point and you get some interface and it pops up and it's like white, your brain is purple or green or whatever's going on, it's embedded into your experience where you're demonstrating it here from the online browser and the mobile device, but then allows you to A-B test everything. 
learn what's going on. It could be CTAs, it could be colors, it could be offers, it could be time of day, the payment methods that are preferable in your geography of what's going on and putting that together. And then simplify with the single click payment options with the Exola wallet, um, PWA and deep link authentication are very smart moves to go into it. So we touched on it a little bit earlier before. What are you allowed to do? Can I do that? Yes, you can. Yes. It's in the terms of service of Apple and Google both that you enable to do and create a web shop. Um, and it's to comply with those platform rules. We don't directly link from in-app to a web shop. You can go to your web page, you can go to uh, patch notes and other things like that as well. And then from that point, you can go promote your web shop. But having a drink to go to, going, to, going from app to web shop um, is, as we'll see on the next page, a little a do not. But one of the things we look at about DMA, so DMA is a big deal. How many people are here from Europe? Yeah. Or have the players in Europe? Probably a lot, or if not everybody, right? Um, so DMA, there's a lot of opportunities that come into it. You've read things about side loading. You've read things about third-party marketplaces. Our recommendation is still the web shop. Increase your profits by doing a web shop, making that possible, seamlessly integrated into your branded experience, and you keep more of the revenue. If you link from the app to a third-party marketplace, as you're seeing, then gonna, there's still the platform fee that kicks into it. But eliminate that fee, generate more profits for your game by doing a web shop. We would still stand by that. We're seeing great success, particularly in Europe and the Western markets, um, obviously in the States um, and then Latin America going into it by following that protocol and process. So let's dive into some of those yeah. questions I, you always get. Right. And also add one more thing. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned this because when we talk to developers, no matter from, you know, the U.S., you know, Latin, Europe, even China. So this is definitely the First, the question, you know, they ask a most popular, you know, question. They said, yeah, I'm allowed. Yes, because what is web shop? Because a web shop is a direct to consumer, you know, web portal, right? You, this is your website, you know, you can put on the PC, you can put on the mobile, you know, web browser, and you, that's your content. You put all the virtual items over there and you manage all the price. You can mark like 199, 299, 399, whatever you want. So yeah, you're 100% legit. You can do it. It's, it's been happening for two years, and we see um, a lot of developers in doing that. And uh, one more thing is, if you look at the top charts, you know, um, the game chart around the world, so 40 out of the top 100, you know, game, you know, publishers, they already built a web shop with Wexola. Yeah. Sorry. So just do it. <laughs> cool. Um, yes. And also, do's and don'ts. So I'll just jump back in there to um, talk about some of these. We get a lot of questions that go into it from a BD perspective and meetings and what's happening in the, from the marketing perspective. Obviously, we just talked about it. Adding a direct link um, from the app to your web shop, big no-no. No, yeah. Promote the web shop or third-party payment method within the game, no. Um, and putting that together, there are some rules and things you can do with around DMA, but we just have a general policy in putting that together to protect you um, and from an organization and putting that to, have, to happen and so there's no challenges or issues. But the big four things you can do, drive awareness through your community, channels, social media, your website, Discord, community channels, be reaching out to people, talk about your additional offers or what you have coming on board or even, hey, check back next Tuesday because we got a special offer. We got a special drop that's happening. Get that done and come over to the web shop. And then drive players with paid and retarget. Paid advertising and retargeting. Basic 101 um, to be able to do that. Get really micro-targeted in where you're looking at it from your user base, based on the genre, where the markets that you want to go to. Use the data insights that are available um, through Exola and other, par uh, other partners from a data perspective. Get smart about it and test things. Try different things, but you can do all of that to promote. And then you can collect the player's contact information within the game um, to reach out from an email perspective of what's going on. Um, that you have for your game, and then once they get there, then you can do the promotion. And the last one, the big thing, create an interstitial page, leaderboards, FAQs, blogs on your content, and if they have questions about how do I do this, link to the web shop. If they have what's possible, where can I get promotions, link to the web shop as you're on their FAQ page, and make that happen, and then I'll drive more people to come to your, to your web shop. I have some examples if you sure. don't mind. Yeah, so um, for the our backs, you know, do's and don'ts, you know, yeah, and also see, this is how to drive um, 
drug players to web shop. So we know there's a big no, and I, I'm sure everybody in the mobile gaming knows the words between you know Epic and uh, Apple. And so yeah, so no direct web shop link inside your game, but your 100% can talk to your you know players in your community, Discord, you know X, you know or email newsletter. We see the partners doing this every day and pr provide them like unique offers and all those promotion 100% outside. But also another way is you can also you know put a send them like a message in the say hey check out that. You know, New, new newsletter page, check out our new post on our you know, website, sure. and then you can promote from, from there. So, yeah, and uh, yeah, go ahead, sorry. So some of the things in the community we talked about, just touch base on it, um, those are all great points. Um, and then notifications, very specific messages here, and up here it's like join our online community, just like uh, Josephine was talking about. Learn how to get more gems, learn how to do different things, come to our official website, check out the leaderboards and what's going on. Um, and then looking at advertising, targeted, video, native, static placements, um, social media, direct traffic to coming to your web shop. And then influencers, we all love influencers. Find the right influencers, get them to create a landing page, um, putting that together to promote their offering, put it in their streams, creator codes, referral links, and getting that done so when they drive to your web shop, we can help integrate all that together from, not only from the influencer program, but then the payouts and handling that process for you guys. Email newsletters, inform of what's going on. You're sitting out, say, monthly in a lot of cases, sometimes every two weeks, depending on your community and how big or how targeted you want to go. You're localizing that content, too, as well from a newsletter. Promote those features. Promote the game, what's going on, and where they can level up their experience through the newsletter. And then the app um, is from aggressive web, progressive web applications and making that possibility um, come to life. So why don't we talk about some data points that we've yeah. seen in validation for everybody? Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite topic. You know, every time they talk to partners, I'm so so thrilled to show them. You know, the latest average you know performance. So so if you guys look at this slide, we have a capture rate, incremental revenue increase, conversion, and also repeat purchases. So in mobile gaming, I know we have lots of metrics. You know, I've been tracking. So web shop metrics. Um, it's a slightly different because this is a game commerce. Web shop, it is an extension of your game and the user behavior actually is slightly different, but still they are your active you know, um, users, they are paid users. So let's look at the capture rate. So um, ex for among all the web shops you know, Absola and Build with Partners, our average capture rate is between like 30 to 40%. What does it mean? Let's look at the example. Suppose you have a game on the App Store, you, your total, um, your sales is one million, and then you also have a web shop, and let's say their sales is 100K. So, if one, so, so basically the capture rate is you know, um, 100K you know, um, device by you know, one million and plus 100, you know, 100K, like a 9%. So that's a capture rate. And speaking of that, you know, yesterday I'm talking to our team, you know, um, that's an interesting um, fact that we found, and I'm sure everybody probably use you know, third party you know, um, data, um, data service, right? You look at the competitor's data, you look at how much money they make last month. So it's interesting that some like trending games, their revenue, boom, dropped. So what is going on with my competitor? You know, their game doing so well. Tell, I'm telling you, that's a stake that means they launched a web shop because all the third party they cannot track, you know, a web shop. Yeah, but their so that's why their revenue shifted from the in-app to the web store. Yeah, you can third, yeah, give it a try today. And, and yeah, I think that's an interesting fact. And also conversion rate. Yes, so we talk about in app purchase. We talk about you know your boot up rate. You talk about you know how many users convert from free you know, user to paid user. Right? We all know the metrics. And but on web shop, so our com average conversion rate is between 40 to 50 percent, which means when player you know visit your web shop and make purchase. 50%, you know, half of the users, they paid on the web shop, you know, there's no fractions and uh, they accept this new concept. Even yesterday, I was in like a salon and we have uh, mobile developers, I remember from, basically from like a diff many different regions. And I didn't know one of them said, hey, we just launched the web shop three days ago with Axola. I said, what do you think? I said, wow, one of the, 
you know, best selling asset queue is one nine nine one hundred ninety nine dollars. This is not happening though. You cannot make it on App Store. No price limit. And I said, how about the how about you you know user experience? Because they use the Discord and just only talk to the few of their you know their you know their wills and uh, nobody questioned that. Okay, here's a link. Okay, I'm gonna visit and buy. I love that. You know, yeah, I feel so warm. You know, the yeah the adopted solution. And also repeated purchase. Yes, yeah, this is also one of the key metrics you know, our team been watching. So average repeat purchase rate, 60%, which means you know, if you look at a user base, um, more than half of your users are continually buying, visiting, buying, yes. This is such an amazing number to me. And last one, we talk about revenue, right? We talk about capture rate, also incremental revenue. Our average incre incremental revenue increase is between 10 to 15%. What does it mean? Because you have your in-app purchase, and then you have a web, uh, web shop, and also we have we are continue to help you to live ops, you know, post a launch, a success, a recommendation, which means if you, and also there's no, like I said, there's no price limit, yeah, and you can add all those bundles, offer promotions, you know, on your web store, yeah. So later you can, after you launch like in you know, a month or two, you can see the incremental revenue increase like this. Yeah, so those are based on all the launch, um, all the web shop we launched with a global partner. And also, um, people often ask us about the genres, yeah. And so I'm just, we have a few examples, like for example, this one is a mobile football game web shop that launched exactly a year ago. So those are the key, you know, features they picked up, you know. Um, so I'm not going to go through this, but you can tell the capture rate is over 40%. And our pool, okay, our pool, sorry. This is also a favorite topic we've been talking every day in gaming. $464, that's pretty amazing. Sales count, so sales count means like uh, how many successful payment happen on this uh, web shop. Of course, revenue, this one, um, revenue is uh, 9 million and uh, the revenue uplifts, that basically means like, you know, um, the incremental uh, revenue we brought to this game. Also, RPG, yes, is a hardcore, I know, and it works so well. 10% um, capture rate and our people, 110. Oh my gosh, look at this uh, revenue. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the next one, I believe, oh yes, another RPG. Um, yes, launched the last, okay, well, launched a year and a half ago. I believe this is one of the partners we um, take on this initiative um, on the early age. Yes, also their uh, offer is a slightly different. They are trying the time, limited time offer, bonus, discount, everything. Capture rate 20%, our people, our people is small, but it look at you know, their over revenue. Yes. Okay, strategy, yes. And this one launched also, um, yeah, a um, little bit a year and a half ago. And they have regional pricing, that's a little different. They also have a shopping cart. This is a, one of the unique features we launched. And our people, oh my gosh, 3,000. <laughs> I don't even, <laughs> yeah, crazy. those are real number. I'm just telling you. Yeah, if you, um, we have our, our team here today. If you guys want to know all the best practice, go to our website, our linking. We have all, literally we're ready to hand over all the best practices, all the features, bundles and to you, yeah. And okay, last one, this is simulator mobile game too, yes over 50% capture rate. Yes, I think that's one of the, the games their revenue dropped on this third party um, tracking platform. Yeah, nothing happened, the game is doing well, users are still active, they're just buying on the web shop now. Right. Cool. Uh, last one. Last one. Okay, yeah, this one is a fighting mobile. Yeah, also, um, our people not 890, capture rate 15%, that's amount our average. Web shop revenue, 32 million. Wow. <laughs> so I think Joseph, we did a great job like demonstrating it's like, it's, it's not genre specific, it's not target specific, it goes up and down. It's something we believe in creating equal access for everybody, great idea comes from anywhere. Good games can come from any location around the world and can be targeted to any user that you have going into it doesn't have to, you don't have to be a big company and you don't have to be a small company. It's everybody in between and doing different, trying different things, activating and you're seeing the success. To just kind of summarize the key takeaways, we take three things away from this um, experience is like you can generate more profit. If you're sitting in from studio head, design perspective, 
you head of your organization, you take this back to your CFOs and the people and the bankers and all that stuff, they're gonna want you to do this. And how do you generate more profit for your P&L and your um, uh, balance sheets? But own the brand. That's an important thing from a marketing perspective that's near and dear to my heart because you wanna own the brand experience. You wanna control that capability, engage with your players the way you want to, not the way the platforms are gonna to dictate to you do or to limit you and have that, you, your options are unlimited, limitless when you're online of what you can do from a promotion standpoint. And the last thing I'll leave you with is provide value. Players are finicky. They're very specific. They know when there's not value. They know when it's just the same up offer. We've had partners and do the same offer on the, on the app and in the web shop, players will call them out and say, hey, we see what you're doing, appreciate what you're doing from the business, but I'm just gonna buy it in the app. Provide value, provide something incremental, do incremental bundles, something that they're gonna to wanna to do and come back over and over. As you see 60% repeat right. purchase rates. That's what you're seeing. We got partners that are doing it and they're doing Tuesday, Thursday offers, limited time, there's value, setting that cadence and kind of a schedule in your head. If you're a player to come back, we're going on Tuesday, you're gonna do it and you're gonna play your game on the way home on the subway or the train or in the Uber, whatever method of you getting home or you're just using some chill time at the end of the day. Or, you know, is coming into those different opportunities, but provide value of what's going on and then you'll, you'll win. You'll generate more revenue, you'll make your, players happy and at the end of the day your business will be successful great uh, can i add one more thing absolutely <laughs> Go ahead. okay so just we talked about wall today and uh, so often another question developer often ask me so where and how um how can i create it so Axola publisher account our dashboard um, it's a self-service platform, you know, um, so you just log in and you know Sign up log in and create and we we don't we don't have a free trial, everything. Everything's free there. We don't charge until you start selling. That's it. So we appreciate you guys listening here today. We've got a few minutes left um, in the time slot, so we're happy to answer any questions. There's a mic up front. Um, encourage you to get involved. Scan the QR code. Book a meeting with us. We're happy to do that. We'll be at the booth starting tomorrow through Friday. Um, and then fill out your surveys. Love to hear your feedback from you guys. But if there's any questions, happy to jump up here. Um, and then we obviously will be around afterwards out in the hallway to uh, chat. But thank you guys, appreciate the, uh, your time and coming in here, particularly right after lunch. Thank you.